Well, good morning. Good to be with you again this morning, another day. Let's come before the Lord in prayer. Lord, we thank you for today. We thank you for our salvation, Lord. We thank you that you've allowed us to be alive another day and that you have a plan and a purpose in our life even today. But this, before we even start our day, Father, we pray that you would speak to us through your word. We ask it in Jesus' name. Amen. This morning, I want to talk to you about one of my favorite scriptures. Well, many favorite scriptures, but one in particular is uh, the book of Hebrews, chapter 4, verse 12. And it talks about the word of God. Let me read it to you this morning. He says, for the word of God is living and powerful. In other words, the word of God is alive. This book that we hold in our hands, when you spend time with it, it comes alive. Oh, yes, it does. Oh, yes, it does. By faith, when you receive it, your spirit is nurtured. It's getting all the nutrition that it needs, spiritually speaking. The word of God, it cleanses us. It washes us. The word of God heals us. The word of God speaks to us. It does so many radical things in our lives as we sit before it or as the preacher preaches it. You see, it's not the preacher. It's the word of God. The word of God is alive. The second thing he says, it's powerful. Yes, it's powerful. Man, the word of God pierced me. It got a hold of my life 20 over 23 years ago. And it's still getting a hold of my life each and every day. You know, they say that if you're not in love with Jesus more today than yesterday, perhaps you might be backsliding. So we should always be in the word of God, allowing the word of God to do its work in us and through us. Then next, what he says here, he says, it's sharper than any two-edged sword. That is the word of God. And it even pierces even to the division of soul and spirit and of joints and marrow. And then he says here, and is a discerner of the thoughts and the intents of the heart. In other words, the word of God will go so deep into you. Maybe the radio, maybe the preacher, maybe you simply just coming before God. It has a way of just going right inside of you. And it goes so deep in you. The last two things he says, it's a discerner of the thoughts. It shows you what how to discern your thoughts. And then he says, it shows you what's inside of your heart. Listen, stay in the word. You need the word. I need the word. Man, I love the word. I pray that you love the word as well. God bless you. And may you have a great day today.